Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls. This is our weekly angelic message for the week of June 17th, 2024. How y'all doing? How are things? If you want to, leave in the comments how you've been experiencing some of these messages, what's been shifting and changing. Because I know some, if you were attracted to this video, I hate to be that person to say, this video found you for a reason. Well, I mean, sure. There's a message in this for you, I'm sure, but I don't know. It just seems so cheesy <laughs> saying it like that. Anyway, think about, <laughs> give some time and attention to what has been shifting. Now, for some of you, you might have had someone who is, I just heard mega changer. Again, this is stupid. Um, <laughs> sounds really dumb, but you know, somebody who just comes in and absolutely transforms your life. Now, for some of you, this can be difficult. This could be someone who comes into your world and shows you what's wrong, okay? Um, wrong, but in a loving way, right? Where somebody comes in and says, hey, why do you keep talking about yourself like that? You're beautiful, you're smart. Why do you keep holding yourself back? And it might be hard to hear. It might be very triggering, you know, especially if someone says, hey, why do you keep self-sabotaging and you know you do it? but you don't know why you do it, right? Um, something else that could happen is you have somebody who comes into your world and they say what you've always been afraid to say, or they point out something that everybody else has tried to overlook. Now, people don't often like whistleblowers, but this is an important thing. You know, this is... Um, mm, bringing something that you've known to be true on a deep level, but you never really brought it up to the surface to be able to articulate it to, to blah, 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 blah. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it's going to be a great video. To be able to handle it in this third dimensional ego consciousness realm to work through that, which remember from a spiritual aspect, a lot of us are incarnated right now to work through that type of karma, to work through those types of lessons. You know, for some of you out there, you could have had your heart broken. I'm just going to make up an example here. You could have had your heart broken. You say, I'm never going to fall in love again. I'm sure there's a song with those lyrics out there. Uh, comment down below if you know what song. I don't know what song. <laughs> it just popped up in my head. Uh, but then someone comes along who's absolutely wonderful. And I'm not talking about somebody who comes and love bombs you um, or who just comes in and plays on your vulnerability in any way, shape, or form but somebody who's really good, kind, genuine. So again, for some of us, it's gonna be uncomfortable. It's gonna be holding a mirror up to us. And yet it's very positive, okay. So first up here, we have the emperor. Now the number four in angel numbers, it's saying that your guardian angels are around you, but this is also stability. It's being fortified. It's having support. You know, you ever have those days where it's like, okay, I don't have everything all figured out, but I'm at peace with it because I know I will have it figured out. I know if I don't push that solutions will present themselves. This is that sort of feeling here. Now the emperor, I think for a lot of you, could it represent a person? Yes, but we'll talk about that in a second because I know it's probably where a lot of minds went to but i think this is you i think this is you finding your inner strength your inner power and because we all have divine feminine and masculine within us in different variations this might be some of you tapping more into um, the divine masculine energy where you are making things happen it's more out there it's more maybe not aggressive we don't want to be aggressive okay but more assertive stepping into your power feeling very strong not that feminine energy can't be strong but this is um actually i just heard physically strong too so some of you might be uh taking charge of your life that's what it is if i don't like it i'm gonna change it and you go ahead and you jump in and you start doing that. So this is Archangel Uriel. If you don't know who Uriel is, Uriel is commonly associated with strength and wisdom. 
uh, amongst other things, he's thought to have brought astrology to humans. There's been some controversy around this archangel, <laughs> but mostly he's associated with the solar plexus along with Archangel Michael. So Uriel helps us understand things, but to be okay with what we know. So in the example of giving astrology to humans, well, any human that misuses that, that's not something that Uriel represents, you know, it wasn't given to you to, to misuse, to harm others, to get intel on others so that you can manipulate them. You know, that's not what it was for. So Uriel in, in the purest sense is about gaining the wisdom and then making the best use of that wisdom. Use your powers for good, not bad, is what we're saying here, okay? All right, <laughs> stability and efficiency. That's another good one, efficiency. Taking charge of a situation, ambitious plans. So this is where some of you, I mean, if you've been in a low space, you finally pick yourself up uh, and you're having a good day, maybe. If you're not, that's okay too. That's okay too. Just remember that this strength is within you. All right, solutions. Yes, please, can we put it out to the universe that I find a solution that somebody just comes and cleans my house? Thank you, and so it is. Okay, well, let's see how that goes. I'll report back next week. <laughs> so the number is 14. In angel numbers and in numerology, we would add the four and the one. We would make that a five, and in angelic numbers then. Uh, so there's different ways that you can interpret um, angel numbers. <coughs> you can take the one and the four next to each other. Again, the four is guardian angel presence helping you with the self right so that's one but when you combine those and you get a five here's that change here's that transformation that we were talking about maybe being facilitated through a person oh i'm sorry i didn't get to the point where it could be a person um this could be that person who comes in and they don't actually have to be in like a position of power not like where the ego would perceive someone being in power but this could be like the quiet person who walks in and drops that statement that changes everything. You know, the why do you self-sabotage or why do you accept that treatment? Or, you know, you could go off and do X, Y, and Z and you would be great at it. You know, that person, that's that emperor energy. So solutions is the next card. This is Archangel Zadkiel. So Zadkiel is all about transmutation, the violet flame, very Saint Germain energy. This is burning up things. If you don't like that, then you can see it as like violet light diffusing. Yes, diffusing and again, transmuting some old energy that has kept you stuck. Sticky is, is how I'm feeling. Like it's like sticky and just, ugh. Maybe in some way your energy gets focused on how sticky everything is instead of realizing I can be rid of that and I have a clear way forward. Okay, that's what Zadkiel Z-A-D-K-I-E-L. Uh, that's what he helps us with. So success that comes from objective compromise, self-control and patience, forgiving and healing energy. Boy, these two cards together just say, I don't have time for this. Do you have anybody around you who's just like an emotional drain? You know, the person that wants to make sure everyone feels a little unsettled because they like what it feels like to have people tiptoeing around them. It makes them feel powerful. It makes them feel like the emperor. Well, it's going to backfire on them because especially if you know this information, you are going to step up and say, I don't have time. This is ridiculous and I don't have time. <laughs> so you're going to move on from this. King of Raphael, a lot of masculine energy going on here. Warm, generous, honorable, refined. Yes, it is safe to trust. This is especially for some of you out there who are looking for that love partner. Now, I'm not saying for every single person it's going to happen this week. If you want to get a personal angelic message, especially powerful for angelic souls, you can go to angelsouls444.com. Those are my digital readings. You can sign up for one of those. I do have a few spots left this week. Not many. Okay. So for, for live readings. So if you want one of those, just email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. Those are done via Zoom. What I'm not going to be doing is like interviewing <laughs> to give you a live reading. I don't, I don't know what that is. <sighs> like asking questions is fine, but expecting me to, and I don't know I do this. I'm like, maybe I'm like a little too open with you guys, but like, this is something that I experience where it's almost like people come, they have all these questions about my approach and, you know, 
what is this? What is that? Well, it's going to take me just as many, many minutes to answer that than if you just like, you know, got your reading or don't get your reading. You know, it's up to you, however you want to do that. So if you know what you're getting, you already are familiar. I know that sounds so mean and I'm not putting this in the right way, I realize. But something just feels off when someone's doing that. It feels like they're just trying to get attention. I'm, I'm not, it's not a job interview. Okay, and some people come to me, I'll get these emails thinking like, oh, okay, someone wants to grab that spot this week. And it's like a job interview. Like, how do you do these things? And how do you blah, 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 what? Tell me the difference between this and this. Again, I don't mind answering questions, but some of these feel a little different. I hope you can understand. And maybe I need to stop oversharing on this channel. I don't know. Leave, let me know. Leave a comment down below. Okay. Uh, okay, so King of Raphael, warm, generous, honorable, refined. Yes, it is safe to trust the ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passions. Now, as I was saying, this could be a person walking into some of your lives that is helping to lift you up. That's what this definitely feels like, whether it's romantic or not romantic. The masculine energy or someone who contains a lot of masculine energy helping you kind of find your heart a little bit because he's the king of Raphael. So this is helping you find that heart space to, it's learning to love again. I told you, this is like the most ridiculous reading ever. I am sorry. Okay, learn it to love again. <laughs> but what do I mean by that? Does that have to be romantic love? Like I said, for some of you, it could be. Um, and yet for others, it's sort of like learning how to love your life again because someone has some wise words or learning to love something that you never thought you would love. Maybe it's golfing. Yes, let's, let's make up an example like that. Maybe you always thought, what's the point? You take a metal stick and you try to hit a ball that's like too small like who can hit that? Um, you could hurt yourself. You could, in many ways, you could hurt yourself. And then you get a golf cart and you go, what's the point of that? And then you go out and you do it and you go, oh, I get it. Okay. I, I'm, I'm still on the side of not understanding golf. If anybody wants to teach me how to golf, let me know. Uh, but <laughs> teach me what you love about it. I, I love to hear those stories. But, you know, it's that sort of thing where it's like I didn't, I always had a perspective and a perception of something. And then I got into it and realized this is amazing. Okay, so it could be something along those lines. Another king. Don't worry, we're, we got the Magdalene Oracle deck here. We're going to balance this energy out. So, <laughs> so we have King of Michael, principled, rational, ambitious, respected. Wisdom and objectivity are important right now. Stay in your integrity, a situation that calls for honest and open communication. And I just am hearing like someone might try to bully you. Someone might try to manipulate you. And that manipulation can come through pouting or trying to show you that they disapprove of you. The cold shoulder, you know, those are all emotionally abusive tactics. And the, the king of Michael here says, we don't, we don't do that. We're not messing with that. We don't care if <laughs> you're going to sit over in the corner and pout. I'm talking about grown adults doing this. All right, let's get a Magdalene card here. Let's see what else is going on. Oh, we got two of them. Divine order and family. Okay, so this is potentially a massive shift. For some of you, this is ancestral karma. We talk about that quite a bit. But more than anything, it's like a family pattern. There's some divine intervention going on this week. Something's coming in and saying, okay, enough of holding yourself up, enough of holding yourself back. You deserve better. And so healing family wounds, healing family ties, um, or not allowing family dynamics to hold you back. Now, some of you watching this, you've actually been quite sheltered by your family and you, you didn't realize <laughs> that not everyone's going to see you as a princess or a little prince or realizing that, um, you know, it, because we have so much masculine energy here, daddy can't always come and save you. And, you know, maybe there's something healed around divine masculine energy going on here so for some of you if let's say you never had a father figure in your life well someone comes along and is that figure for you there's uh oh gosh i don't even know he's on social media 
And he's like, he starts off the videos, where uh, the, the clips or whatever with, if your dad never taught you, dot, dot, dot. I love that guy's energy because he's everyone's dad. You know what I mean? Like he's really cool and he has great tips. Um, you know, I think the feminine aspect of that would be Babs. Um, she's on TikTok. If you have not found her, you got to find her. She has the best tips on things. And it's like, if your grandmother, and she's like, if your grandmother never told you about this, this, and this, here's this tip. So even something as simplistic as that, right? Like somebody out there who just has embodies that, that beautiful fatherly energy, which is also Raphael. Raphael has a very jovial, comforting, strong father energy. So a lot of themes around that. And I think that's, you know, about as far as I could take you in a general reading. Again, if you want a personal reading, angelsouls444.com. Sit with that. See what's going on with that. Tune in for the daily reading breakdowns. And we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.